Hi Year 13, Mrs Turner here. So wow, uh, I've always thought that I would be able to say all of these things to you face to face and that we would have a massive leavers assembly and I'd have a t-shirt cannon and confetti and some dry ice and a, a light show and all of those things but sadly it's just me in my office, in my very quiet office in a exceptionally quiet hub out there I've got nobody to shout silent study to because there's literally nobody there um so this is a really weird thing to do and a really strange message um but I'm going to try really hard to not be stupid and get all upset when I speak to you okay so let me go through my little prepared thing that I was going to talk about so what a year let's talk about just sit form. Um, I didn't know a lot of you in year 12 unless you were politics or film students. Um, other than that, I didn't know you that well. Um, obviously, I got the post of head of sit form in term six last year and came down. And the first thing that I did was have a go at you about your dress code, um, which you all loved a lot. Um, but it got worse for you, actually, because then in September, I changed the timetable and I made you all come in more, um, which you, again, really loved me for. Um, so, so far, uh, not great, isn't it? I had a go at you about what you're wearing and I made you come in more. Um, but I tried to make your spaces a little bit nicer here so that it would be easier for you to stay um, and do work. And despite all of the issues with the dress code and despite all of that kind of timetable stuff of making you come in, you all did really well. And you know that you did. Your attendance improved almost 30 percent on when you were in year 12. And I know you don't care about that because it sounds very Mrs. Turner thing to say talking about attendance percentages. But you were all here more in year 13 and you were all looked more professional and you all were more professional people you made this sick form professional and you raised the profile of the sick form here you did that you did that pretty much overnight and for some of you it was really hard um, and some of you have had a really challenging year 13 but my fondest memories are the little conversations that I would have with you whether they were in the cafe go and have a cup of tea love you've earned it remember in the hub um, whether they were in the cafe or whether I was having a go at you for being in the common room too much, sat in the corner like mushrooms in the dark, coming in and switching the lights on and then Zach or one of you would then, as soon as I walked out, switch the lights off, whether it was me screaming, silent study, uh, in the hub, in the computer hub, my fondest memories are all of those snippets, all of those moments of conversations with you all. When you came into my office and just sat down with your head in your hands, having a horrible day, or when you just wanted to come and sit in my office and have a rant or sit in my office and come and talk to me about UCAS or whatever it was, those were the moments that have made my year. And they are the moments that I've missed the most. I miss not talking to you because you are genuinely an exceptionally bright, vivid year group vivid because you I will never forget you um I will never forget the conversations that we've had I'll never forget some of the some of the laughs as well watching Jay Preble walk through the school absolutely drenched head to toe um after being made to come in and the heavens opened and he literally squelched through the entire school it still makes me laugh to this day um all of the things that that you that you guys did you're after school sitting in the hub for one minute, I couldn't get you in the building and then I couldn't kick you out. And you're listening to music. Um, it's just really funny things. Aside from all the class funnies um, and the funny things that you were doing, just hearing you laugh in the hubs, um, mainly at my expense, getting the chessboard out, even though I've told you not to play chess. All of these things. I mean, I could go on for days, but I'm not going to. Um, you have all come so far in your school careers. Like I say, I didn't teach you lower down the school. A lot of your teachers who are gonna leave you some messages here have, um, but you all had a very interesting time here. 
Um, and I don't want you to think about all of the negative things. I don't want you to think about the, the COVID-19 situation ruining your time. I want you to really think about all of the brilliant things that you did. And bearing in mind, I can only think about the brilliant things that you did this year. There are a lot of brilliant things that you did. You all stepped up to the challenge of having somebody new come in and start telling you what to do. And you did it. You amazed me. Uh, with your um, calmness and with your can-do attitude towards UCAS. You all just got on with that. It was a pleasure reading your personal statements. I know it was a nightmare and I know it went on forever and I know I was extremely stressed trying to write your references, but writing your references for those of you who applied to university was another highlight. It was the bane of my life, but it was a highlight. Getting to know you all, getting to speak to your teachers, um, and getting to write really personal references for you um, and being able to tell other people how fantastic you all are um, was a real honour for me, I'll be honest. Um, Trying not to choke up. Um, another brilliant thing that you all did this year is your exam attendance. I know you're thinking, what, exam attendance? We did sit in exams in the summer. Um, your autumn exam series, the attendance for those exams was fantastic. It was much better than previous years. The real shame about all of this was that you were all becoming um, very serious about this year 13 and you were becoming very focused on getting the best out of it. And I can assure you that your teachers and I have worked around the clock to make sure that the calculated grades that have been put forward for you um, are accurate, that they're right and that they're fair. So we'll see what the government do with them. We're in the same position as you. We're waiting to find out what happens on results day. But I want you to think about all the funny things, all of the brilliant things um, that you have done this year, whether it's in the hubs with your friends or whether it's just being around the school. I want you to think about all the brilliant things that you've achieved because you've achieved a lot more than you think you have. And like I say, I, you're, the, you're my first year group. You're my first year 13 year group. And as much as you've hated me chasing you around the building, finding out why your work isn't done, having to go to you about your tendons, telling you off for wearing bands and saying, if I have to wear these shoes, then you have to wear these shoes. <laughs> and all of these things, as much as you um, hated that, you welcomed me and you treated me so well this year. And I'm really grateful. I'll always be grateful to you as a year group for being so kind. Um, I'll also be. Um, it's really sad to not have you around. It's, I've had a long time to get used to it now, but I try I try really hard to not come into the hubs too much because all the lights are off and you're not here. I, I tend to work in other parts of the building because I genuinely don't like being around these spaces without you here. Um, but I've got to accept the fact that that's it now. The last A-level exams would have happened. Your last BTEC exams would have happened. So you're no longer year, no longer year 13. Um, so we send you out into the world um, as much as we can um, with goodwill and with genuine care for you. We, we care about you all and we are, you know, we, we do really want you to remember the fact that you will always be faced in academy sick form. It doesn't matter where you go or what you do. There's always somebody here for you and we love it when you get in touch with us and when you let us know how successful you've been. Um, some of you are going off to some brilliant employment and apprenticeships as well, which I'm so proud of. Like, it, you know, it's a real big thing for us to make sure that you move on to the next steps in your life and the people that you are um, and the people that you've become through your education um, journey are fantastic and a real asset to society um, you're strong you're resilient you're brave you're courageous you're knowledgeable you're risk takers you're kind you're compassionate and you're just genuinely really brilliant human beings and I couldn't be prouder of the people that I've been able to work with this year so thank you for being great if you're not going to choke up we've got some messages from your teachers and yeah just take care, enjoy this summer um, and realise that you did everything that you could. OK, even though you couldn't sit your exams, you did everything in your power 
okay there was nothing more any of you could have done really in 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 hindsight okay we dealt with it as we did um and you are fantastic and watch out world because you lot are going to go out there and you're going to grab it with both hands so i can't wait to see what you all do and all the fantastic um people that you're going to develop into so well done take care stay safe hopefully see you all again soon um i'd love to have a certificate evening or something like that where i want to get you all back in um and we'll let you know what happens with the results jay but enjoy your summer um and if you need anything from us you know where we are all right take care see you all soon bye